this video you'll learn about the major updates the Cisco CCNA certification program from February 24, 2020 in exam format and exam topics. First let's take a look at Cisco certifications. New Cisco certifications from February 24, 2020. Entry. Starting point for individuals interested in starting a career as a networking profession. Certification CCT. Associate. Master the essentials needed to launch a rewarding career and expand your job possibilities with the latest technologies. CCNA. DevNet Associate. Level. Professional. Select a core technology track and a focused concentration exam to customize your professional level certification. CCNP Enterprise. CCNP Data Center. CCNP Security. CCNP Service Provider. CCNP Collaboration. Cisco Certified DevNet Professional. Expert. This certification is accepted worldwide as the most prestigious certification in the technology industry. CCDE. Key Enterprise Infrastructure. Key Enterprise Wireless. Key Data Center. Key Security. Key Service Provider. Key Collaboration. Architect. The highest level of accreditation achievable and recognizes the architectural expertise of network designers. CAR. Let's start CCNA certification. New CCNA certification. CCNA Cisco Certified Network Associate. Cisco has announced changes in certification tracks for 2020. New CCNA 200-301 exam which will be effective from 24th of February 2020. If you want a new certification, you pass one exam that covers a broad range of fundamentals for IT careers based on the latest networking technologies, software development skills, and job roles. All CCNA tracks will not be available after February 24, 2020. New exams start from February 24, 2020. One exam plus one course equals all tracks covered. CCDA CCNA routing and switching CCNA security CCNA cloud CCNA Cyber Ops, CCNA Data Center, CCNA Wireless, CCNA Industrial, CCNA Collaboration, CCNA Service Provider. The new CCNA consolidates all of these tracks into a single exam. CCNA New CCNA exam format after February 24, 2020. Required exam 200 301 CCNA. New exam duration 120 minutes. Start date February 24, 2020. Questions type, multiple choice single and multiple answer, drag, and drop. Fill in the blank and test it, simulation, simlet. This exam only one recommended training, implementing and administering Cisco solutions, CCNA. The Cisco CCNA exam will cover each fundamental topic such as network fundamentals 20%, network access 20%, IP connectivity 25%, IP services 10%, security fundamentals 15%, automation and programmability 10%. Next one. Let's us understand current associate level CCNA exam topics one by one. 1. Network fundamentals. 1.1 Explain the role and function of network components. 1.2 Describe characteristics of network topology architectures. 1.3 Compare physical interface and cabling types. 1.4 Identify interface and cable issues, collisions, errors, mismatch duplex, and or speed. 1.5 Compare TCP to UDP. 1.6 Configure and verify it before addressing and subnetting. 1.7 Describe the need for private IPv4 addressing. 1.8 Configure and verify IPv6 addressing and prefix. 1.9 Verify IP parameters for client OS, Windows, Mac OS, Linux. 1.10 Describe wireless principles. 1.11 Explain virtualization fundamentals, virtual machines. 
1.12 Describe switching concepts. 2. Network access. 2.1 Configure and verify LANs, normal range, spanning multiple switches. 2.2 Configure and verify inter-switch connectivity. 2.3 Configure and verify layer 2 discovery protocols, Cisco discovery protocol and LLDP. 2.4 Configure and verify, layer 2 slash layer 3, Ether channel, LACP. 2.5 Describe the need for in basic operations of rapid PVST plus spanning tree protocol and identify basic operations. 2.6 Compare Cisco wireless architectures and AP modes. 2.7 Describe physical infrastructure connections of LAN components, AP, WLC, access, trunk ports, and lag. 2.8 Describe AP and WLC management access connections, Telnet. SSH, HTTP, HTTPS, console, and bookx plus slash radius. 2.9 Configure the components of a wireless LAN access for client connectivity using GUI only such as LAN creation, security settings, GOES profiles, and advanced LAN settings. 3. IP connectivity. Interpret the components of routing table. 3.2 Determine how a router makes a forwarding decision by default. 3.3 Configure and verify IPv4 and IPv6 static routing. 3.4 Configure and verify single area OSPFIV2. 3.5 Describe the purpose of first hop redundancy protocol. 4. IP services. 4.1 Configure and verify inside source NAT using static and pools. 4.2 Configure and verify NTP operating in a client and server mode. 4.3 Explain the role of DHCP and DNS within the network. 4.4 Explain the function of SNMP in network operations. 4.5 Describe the use of syslog features including facilities and levels. 4.6 Configure and verify DHCP client and relay. 4.7 Explain the forwarding per hop behavior, PHB, for goes such as classification, marking, queuing, congestion, policing, shaping. 4.8 Configure network devices for remote access using SSH. 4.9 Describe the capabilities and function of TFTP slash FTP in the network. 5. Security Fundamentals. 5.1 Define key security concepts, threats, vulnerabilities, exploits, and mitigation techniques. 5.2 Describe security program elements, user awareness, training, and physical access control. 5.3 Configure device access control using local passwords. 5.4 Describe security password policies elements, such as management, complexity, and password alternatives, multi-factor authentication, certificates, and biometrics. 5.5 Describe remote access and site-to-site -site VPNs. 5.6 Configure and verify access control lists. 5.7 Configure Layer 2 security features, DHCP snooping, dynamic ARP inspection, and port security. 5.8 Differentiate authentication, authorization, and accounting concepts. 5.9 Describe wireless security protocols, WPA, WPA2, and WPA3. 5.10 Configure LAN using WPA2 PSK using the GUI. 6. Automation and programmability. 6.1 Explain how automation impacts network management. 6.2 Compare traditional networks with controller based networking. 6.3 Describe controller-based and software-defined architectures, overlay, underlay, and fabric. 6.3. A separation of control plane and data plane. 6.3. B northbound and southbound APIs. 6.4 Compare traditional campus device management with Cisco DNA Center-enabled device management. 6.5 Describe characteristics of REST-based APIs, CRUD, HTTP verbs, and data encoding. 
6.6 Recognize the capabilities of configuration management mechanisms Puppet, Chef, and Ansible. 6.7 Interpret JSON encoded data. Prerequisites There are no formal prerequisites for CCNA certification, but you should have an understanding of the exam topics before taking the exam. CCNA candidates often also have one or more years of experience implementing and administering Cisco solutions. Knowledge of basic IP addressing. A good understanding of network fundamentals. From Cisco official website. If you have started working toward any current CCNA or CCDA certification, keep going. You have until February 23, 2020 to complete your current CCNA slash CCDA. If you complete any current CCNA slash CCDA certification before February 24, you'll receive the new CCNA certification and a training badge in the corresponding technology area. If you already have Cisco Certified Entry Networking Technician CSINT, certification and would like to earn CCNA, you have until February 23 to complete your CCNA certification in the current program. As of February 24, you will need to take the new exam to complete CCNA certification. For more information check Cisco website. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.